Hi everyone, today I'm going to make this crochet Christmas stocking. I will use a DK weight yarn and a 4mm hook. Let's get started. To begin, I'm going to make a magic circle. and make 10 half treble crochets into the circle. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Find the first chain and Make a slip stitch, chain one. Now, because we want our circle to get bigger, we are going to make two half treble crochets in between the stitches. So, yarn over, insert your hook through the first gap and pull through at once one and into the same gap make a second one find the second gap and make two half treble crochets one and two find the next space and make two half treble crochets one and two continue like this one two So make sure you count because you need to have 20 stitches in the second row. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. And make a slip stitch. Now on the third row we're going to increase our stitch number to 30 in total so chain one insert your hook into the first space and make a half treble crochet into the next space i'm going to make two half treble crochets one and two now i'm going to repeat and make one half treble crochet into the next space 
and make two half treble crochets into the next space. Continue like this, this, repeating one, two, one, two, one, two, and make sure you have 30 at the end of the row. And 30. I'm going to find the first chain and make a slip stitch. And chain one. Now we started with 10 stitches, increased it to 20. 30 and on the fourth row we're going to make 40 stitches so it's going to be one one two one one two so make a half treble crochet into the first space make another one into the next space make two half treble crochets into the next one one, two, and I'm going to repeat this pattern. So one half treble crochet into the next space, one half treble crochet into the other one, and into the third chain I'm going to make two half treble crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, now I've finished my fourth round. I'm going to make a slip stitch, chain one, and I will start the fifth row, which will be another 40 stitches. So we're not increasing at this round. So what I'm going to do is just one half treble crochet into each space. and 40. You'll notice your work is going to start to fold so that's what it's supposed to look like. Don't worry if it's not looking flat. So once you do your fourth stitch, 14th stitch, make a slip stitch and chain one. Now we're going to start making our bubbles. Bubbles. So we need to turn our work and do the bubbles this way. So when we look at the right side, it will be pretty. We're not going to work into the first space. We're going to work into the second one. So yarn over once. Insert your hook into the space, pull your yarn, now you have two loops. We will continue to make three more. Now I have three loops on my hook, four hoops on the hook. and five loops on my hook so i'm going to pull them all at once i'm not going to chain one right now i'm going to find my next space and make a double crochet so when we turn our work here is the bubble Now I will continue doing this until the end. So yarn over, insert your hook through the next space and work your bobble. I have five loops on my hook. Pull them at once, find your next gap and make a double crochet.
Now, as you can see, my stitches are, one of them is long and the other one is short, long, short, long, short. So I'm going to find the first long one and insert my hook and make a slip stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Now I'm going to make half treble crochets into the each stitch all the way around. So I'm going to find my first space, insert my hook and make my first half treble crochet. Then I'm going to find the long stitch here, which is my second stitch. Insert your hook and make a half treble. Insert the sh uh, find the short one and insert your hook into that one. Half treble. Find the long one. Insert your hook and make another half treble. And continue like this and I'll meet you at the end. Thirty nine and 40. Now find the first stitch and make a slip stitch. Chain one and continue this way. So I'm going to make half treble crochets into each stitch all the way around. And I'll make this three more times so that I have four rows of half treble crochets. So I'll see you when I finish the fourth row. Chain one. Now I have completed my fourth row. So as you can see, this is the toe. We did a row of bobbles and four rows of half treble crochets. Now it's time for us to do another row of bobbles again. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. We're going to work the bobbles from the wrong side. So yarn over, not into this stitch, but into this one, so it's the second one. Double crochet into the next one, make another bubble. Continue and I'll see you at the end. Now I have finished my four rows of half treble crochets. I'm going to chain one, turn my work and make another row of bobbles. So to do that, we're going to work into the second stitch. Make your first bobble. Double crochet into the next stitch. And make another bobble into the next one. Double crochet into the next stitch. And continue like this and I will meet you at the end.
chain one, turn your work. Now I'm going to make three rows of half treble crochets instead of four. And then we will start making the heel. So what we have done so far is a flat circle and three rows of uh, bubbles with four rows of half treble crochets in between and three half treble crochet rows at the end. Now I'm going to start making the heel, chain one. I'm going to make 19 half treble crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. So I'm not going to work for the rest of the roll. Chain one and turn your work. Now this time I'm going to make 17 half treble crochets. In order to do that, I need to reduce my stitches. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, pull your yarn. So now you have five loops on your hook and pull them at once. So now we decrease two stitch numbers into one and continue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and now I'm going to take these two stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook into one. Pull your yarn, with yarn, yarn over again. Insert your hook into the last stitch. So that you have five loops on your hook and pull them at once. 
chain one and turn your work. So this time I'm going to again decrease my uh, stitch numbers. So we will make 15 stitches this time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull your yarn, yarn over again, insert your hook into the second stitch, pull your yarn. You have five loops on your hook, pull them at once. This count as one, two, three, four, Five, Thirteen, fourteen, and we're going to take these two last stitches together. So one and two gives us, gives us a total of 15 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and we're going to do 13 stitches this time. So again, we're decreasing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're going to take these two last two stitches together. Thirteen, chain one, turn your work. Now, this time we're going to decrease again and we'll have 11 stitches in total. So, one, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Chain one and turn your work. Now this time we're going to start increasing it until we reach 19 stitches again. So we're going to work two half treble crochets into the first stitches on both sides. One and make another one into the same space. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11. And into the last stitch, make two half treble crochets. So one and two. Now we have a total of 13 in this row. Chain one, turn your work. Make two half treble crochets into the first stitch. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and into the last stitch make two half treble crochets, fourteen and 15. Chain one, turn your work. Now we're going to make 17 half treble crochets. So two half treble crochets into the first stitch. One and two. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and two into the last stitch, 16 and 17. Chain one, turn your work. For the last time, we're going to make another row with uh, 19 stitches and this will be the last row we're doing an increase. So two half treble crochets into the first stitch. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and into the last stitch make two more, 18 and 19. Now this will be our heel. Let me show you how it's going to be. So we will sew these ends together. Let me show you on the back this one. As you can see, we now worked this bit. So let's start connecting the edges. So how I'm going to connect, sew these together is I'm going to fold them in half. You can use a darning needle to sew these two 
edges. I prefer to do it with my book. So let's find the first stitch, which we started making the 19 stitches. So there it is. I'm going to insert my hook through there. Grab the yarn. And pull it through. Now I'm going to insert my hook into each stitch and make a double crochet. Doesn't really matter at this point if you miss a stitch, just make sure there are no gaps. Let's check if it looks okay. So I turn it inside out and as you can see, there are no gaps, so this will do. Now I need to take my yarn to this side. Um, to do that, I think I'm going to cut my yarn. Pull it nice and tight. I will tie a knot on my yarn. Okay, again, find the first stitch that you started making your 19 stitches. Insert your hook. And get the other end, find the first stitch so that both are on your hook, and your yarn, and pull it through. Now chain one. And now continue. one more just in case and cut your yarn again pull it nice and tight let's turn the heel inside out here it is now we're going to work continue working through this way up. Let's start with making a slip knot. Okay, I'm just going to insert my hook into one of the stitches and chain one. Now we're going to work with half treble crochets all the way around.
Now we are going to work the next three stitches together. So yarn over once, insert your hook through the first chain and pull through. Yarn over again, insert your hook into the next stitch and pull your yarn. Yarn over again into the third stitch. And pull your yarn. We have seven loops on our hook. Pull through at once and continue making half treble crochets. Okay, when you reach this point, we're going to take the next three stitches together again. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over again, insert your hook into the next one, yarn over again, and insert your hook into the third stitch. Again, we have seven loops on our hook. Pull them all at once and continue with half treble crochets into each stitch. Okay, now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. I'm going to make one row of bobbles again. So yarn over, skip the first stitch into the next one, work your bobble. Make a double crochet into the next stitch and a bobble crochet, bobble stitch into the next stitch. And a double crochet into the next stitch. Continue all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Now I have completed my row of bobbles. Please remember to count your stitches at the end of each row to make sure that you have 40 half treble crochets in these rows and 20 bobbles on each bobble row. So now I'm going to chain one, turn my work and I will make four So this, this bit is right here. Now I'm going to work four more half treble crochets and then a row of bobble, four half treble crochets, bobble, half treble, bobble and half treble. So I will make one, two, three bobble rows and I will see you at the end. We will start making the border. Now I have finished the stocking itself. So after I made the heel, I made four rows of 
bobbles and four blocks of half treble crochets. I only used one ball of yarn and this is what I'm left with. So one ball will be enough for your work. And now it's time to do the borders. So we're gonna work it like this and then we're gonna fold it. And to do so, we will work from the wrong side. For the border, I'm going to use a five millimeter hook. And to begin, get your yarn, make a slip knot. And insert your hook through one of these stitches. Get your yarn and pull it through and chain one. Now I'm going to chain four more. One, two, three, and four. So I have five chains in total. Now I'm going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And into the fourth stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet. Chain four. Skip three stitches into the fourth. Make a double crochet. Chain four. Skip three stitches and into the fourth stitch, make a double crochet. And continue like this all the way around and I'll see you at the end. I chained four for the last time. Now what I'm gonna do is insert my hook into the first chain that we did. make a slip stitch. Now turn your work. We will be working from the wrong side and make a double crochet into the space, a half treble into the same space and a treble into the same space. Now I'm going to make a picot. So chain three, Insert your hook into this chain and make a slip stitch. Make a treble crochet into the same space, a half treble into the same space and a double crochet into the same space. So when we fold this, it's all going to be looking really pretty. Let's make one more time. So into the next space, make a double crochet, a half treble crochet, and a treble crochet. Chain three, insert your hook on top of the treble crochet and make a slip stitch. Treble crochet into the same space, half treble crochet and a double crochet into the same space. Now you need to do the same pattern for each of these spaces and I will meet you at the end.
Okay, I've done my last double crochet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch and make a slip stitch. Chain one. And cut my yarn. Pull it nice and tight. Here it is. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you at my next video. Bye!